In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a take profit as well as a stop loss on the Huobi futures market. I'll show you how to do this for positions that are already open and I'll show you how to do it when you're placing limit orders. This video is not financial advice and is for educational purposes only. If you get some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Let's get into the video. Before setting up my take profit and stop loss, I'll have to jump into a small position here. And what I'll do is I'll demonstrate this using a long position. So I'm just gonna come up here to the order panel and I'll go ahead and just mark it into a small position, something like this. Perfect, now I'm in my long position. The first step is to choose price points that you wish to set your stop loss as well as your take profit. So let's come up here to the chart. And I'll go ahead and zoom it in with the wheel on my mouse, something like this. Now it's a little easier to see. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to my drawing tools and I'm gonna go ahead and grab a rectangle. I'm gonna mark out the top resistance here like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mark the bottom support like this. Now we can see an obvious range on the daily chart. And I entered my long position right here, fairly close to support. So perhaps I wanna to try to set my stop loss somewhere just below support. So maybe just below this wick right here and the bottom side of this purple box. So what I'll do is I'll grab a horizontal here for my drawing tools and I'll mark out a spot just below that purple box there, maybe something like this. Now I can see a price point on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 29,423. And perhaps I wanna use that price point as my stop loss. For my take profit, perhaps I wanna target the top side of this range up here maybe somewhere around this wick right here in the middle of the purple box. So what I'll do is I'll grab a horizontal here from the drawing tools and let's go ahead and mark that wick out as well, something like this. Now we can see a price point on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 31,603. And for this demonstration, I'll use that as my take profit target. To set up my take profit and stop loss at those price points, what I'll do is I'll come down here and I'll click where it says position. Then over here on the right hand side underneath action, Click where it says TPSL. Then you'll get a pop-up window where you can put in your take profit as well as your stop loss. In this box here, I can type in that take profit level, which I can see on that horizontal at 31,603. So I'll go ahead and just type that in, 31,603. Now I need to put in the price point of the stop loss right in this box here. And of course this pop-up window is blocking that price point on that horizontal, but I did write it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that into stop loss. 29,423. Now that I have this set up the way that I want it, I just simply come down here and click on confirm. Now I just set my take profit and stop loss. So if Bitcoin was to roll over and break through support, I'll be stopped out right at this horizontal here. If Bitcoin was to move to the top side of this range, and hit my take profit level up here, I'm going to be taking profit. If you'd like to find the details of your stop loss and take profit, just simply come down here, next to positions, click on open orders. And on this box right here, TPSL, give that a click. And here's where you'll find the details of your take profit and stop loss. If at any point you wanna cancel these, just come right over here under action and click on cancel, just like so. As easy as that. If you're placing a limit order, you have the option to set your take profit as well as your stop loss while you're placing the order. And I'll quickly show you that. So if we come up here to the order panel, toggle from market over to limit. Now I need to choose a price point that I wish to open a position. And once again, I'll demonstrate with a long. So let's head over here to the chart and maybe I'll use the top side of this purple box as my entry price. So maybe around 30,000 there. So I'll come back over here to the order panel. I'll type that into price, 30,000. Next, I need to choose the size of the order I wish to place, and I'll just do this again, something like that. And then before placing this order, you can click right here where it says TPSL. Then you'll get a little pop-up window where you can put in the price points of your take profit as well as your stop loss. And I'll use those same horizontals as my price point. So for my take profit, I'll type in 31,603. And for the stop loss, I'll put in 29,000. 423. And because this is a long position, I'll leave this set to long. But if you were opening a short position, you'd toggle this pop-up window from long over to short. So now that I have this set up the way that I want it, I'll just simply click right here on confirm. Now when I come back here to the order panel, 
you can see that I have a take profit right here at 31,603 and a stop loss at 29,423. So now that I have this order set up the way that I want it, I'd come down here and I'd click on open long. Now I've placed that limit order onto the order book. So if the price of Bitcoin comes down hitting 30,000, I'll be opening a long position. And the moment this order fills, who will we be adding my stop loss down here and my take profit up at this level here. You can find the details of your order if you come down here next to positions, click on open orders. And here's where you'll find the details of your limit order. If you want to see the details of your take profit and stop loss, just come over here on the right hand side and right underneath take profit stop loss, you'll see a little box that says details. Give that a click. Then you'll get a pop-up window showing you your take profit as well as your stop loss. And as you can see over here under status, these are not activated because the position hasn't filled. Once that position fills, these will become activated. So I'll just go ahead and close this out. At any point, if you want to cancel your limit order, just come over here under action and click on cancel. And just like that, I took that order off of the order book. And there you have it. That's how you set up a take profit and stop loss on the Huobi futures market. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also, feel free to check out my other Huobi tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.